from 3 p.m. UTC today. It, uh, the, we would be having some insight as to the challenge that we are working on currently and then how to go um, you know, about making the package uh, ready and then uh, useful. So, uh, so once you, um, the person I was like, start us off this morning, the questions you'll be providing answers to uh, um, how you are doing this morning. Um, how was the, uh, the submissions for um, yesterday? Were you able to submit um, what you are planning on doing today? And um, uh, areas that you think you might encounter uh, blockers and then how we can help in that regard, okay? So who wants to um, start us off this morning? You can just unmute or you, you know, raise your hand. Or we can just start with um, Michael Darko. Michael, are you here? Uh, maybe not. Yes, I'm around. Okay. Thank you. So, okay. So, um, how my uh, submission went, and then what I'm planning to do today. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, with uh, with with the quotes, actually, uh, because we are supposed to build a we are, because we are supposed to build um, uh, a package for it all. I'm, I'm a bit divided into build, um, having a repository for the package, and then you uh, you rather import the package in the in the um, in the uh, you 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 um, install the package and then you use you use it in the work or you just create individual classes for it and then you use it then later you create it. So I've initiated a repository though, but. I'm now thinking about how to get the structure right so that it can suit both purposes. And even though I'm thinking about the structures locally, I've been able to um, do at least get a reference. So what I, I actually did was the names that were submitted for for all the um, for all for all the files which was on the uh, Amazon list. I read it and then I created. Um, a due, a due data frame from it. So what I intend doing is whenever someone puts in a bound, I now check whether the boundary is contained in any of the names. If it is contained in any of the names, then I retrieve that part, that particular file, and then just um, create, <clears throat> create, um, uh, create the image from it, and then use the bounds that the person the, the the user puts in to cut out if it is within it cut that bounds out and then work on the visualization so that's what i plan on uh, i plan on doing i've been able to set up the um, geodata frame already i want to just write a class which will just encapsulate all of it and then make it more sequential i think that that is what i plan on doing today yeah thank you very much that was great any um, blockers you like uh, see that you might encounter Yes, the, what what would actually be the issue is um, actually trying to ensure that um, the, I mean, the reference, uh, the reference, uh, if, I, if I would say class that you will build, would be able to handle all other um, CRM reference system that the user might put in, because uh, converting from one point to the other, um, sometimes you might, there are things which you have to also put in place if you are converting and all of that, so. I think that would all slow down the pace of the work a bit. But aside that, well, it's it, it, it's it's something you also have to look at. So uh, I think that would be the blocker that I would have. And then also, whilst coding, as I have, you have to think about the um, the use of the computational resources to see that it's very efficient. That would that would also mean that you have to be extra careful with how you put in your loops and all that. Because I, I think those are the um, things that I think might be uh, slow down the pace of the work for me and it can are possible blockers for me. Yeah, okay, rightly, uh, rightly said. But I think that for the first uh, blocker that you mentioned, we, uh, 
Now, according to what here about posted yesterday, we already have like a defined EPS GCRS format that we're supposed to like consider. So you can like start that off with your um, package. And then when you like, um, maybe want to like improve the performance of the package, you can then factor in other um, CRS uh, formats as well. That would be great. That would be great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, um, Michael. And um, I would um, like um, Deborah Gibrayanis to um, give us an update from our side. Uh, hello, guys. Hi, Deborah. Hi, hi. Uh, this week have been uh, a bit hard, but uh, because I had uh, challenges in installing the dependencies in the packages, uh, but now uh, I think I have done that successfully and I've uh, been able to fetch the data. I think uh, it, the, any blockers I might have might come from uh, just understanding the uh, uh, the uh, data, like the last file. I think, yeah, that's where I think I might have the challenge. Um, what are your plans um, for, for today? You said you've gotten the data. Any plans of like visualizing them or making them ready? Yeah, that's uh, what I'm going to do. I'm just I'm going I'm gonna to clean up what I have and just go to the visualization part. OK, there are other tools like um, you know, like Glassby. There is PyLeader that I was exploring yesterday. There are, these are libraries that you can use to like um, investigate the last files and the files that you've gotten from the um, pipeline. Mm -hmm. okay. And then if you face any other blockers, just ask on Rocket Chat. We'll be happy to um, help. OK. Yeah, OK, thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you. And um, the next person I would like to go um, from Bani Banda. Can we have your update? Okay, hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. All right, so yesterday I submitted the interim report and the GitHub link, but my code was a bit messed up, so I'm trying to fix the code structure this time around. And today I want to finish with the pipeline, the issue issues that I just need to fix, and then go to the visualization. So I have a few questions about the pipeline. I think I'll ask on Rocket Chat. Okay, I'm looking forward to the questions. Thank you very much for coming. That was short right. and simple. Um, do we have Boris Papa here? Can you go? No, he's not. Oh, yeah, he's here. Blaze Papa. Can you go next, please? Okay, hi, everyone. Hi. Okay, as for me, uh, with your help, I've been able to do a lot. I probably wasn't really understanding the, the project as well. So slowly by slowly, I was able to fetch the data, uh, reproject it, uh, visualize, and add elevation to it. So just uh, in the process of ensuring that my package works properly and uh, seamlessly. Any um, blockers currently that you're facing? Mm, I don't think I don't think so. But when they do crop up, I think probably it's just and grasping most of the concepts. But when I do uh, find myself in those areas, I tend to ask my friends. They help me out. Okay, okay, that's good. Thank you very much. Um, was a Rachel? Can you go next? Can you go now? Rachel, are you here? Maybe not. Okay. Um, Jamain Wukundu, can you go next, please? Hello, morning. Good morning. Yeah. Like yesterday, I tried to submit the Ethereum GitHub and reports. And I've been struggling to understand the data. Like I was able to fetch data through the pipeline. And I'm trying to to create the general data frame. But I, I've been facing brokers like how to you to use the server, like the terminal of the server, like using the terminal of the server 
with interacting like the Py, Py scripts, even like changing directories so I can interact with the server instead of using my local PC. Have you, have you reached out to um, any of your trainees or asked the specific questions on um, Rocket Chat, maybe? No, I, I've been trying to mix like server in the PC, not yet reached out to any. Okay, I, I think that you should, um, you know, ask the, the, the questions about then how to use the server and then how to like change directory. I think it's a pretty straightforward thing. And then if you ask, I'm sure you will get a lot of um, response. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank sure. you very much. Um, okay. Thank you. And um, Kaira Tanyende, can you go next? Kaira? Are you here? Uh, maybe not. Okay. Hello. Uh, Hi. Go on, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, all right. And um, a Jerusalem, Grubayans. Uh, sorry, a Jerusalem. Can you go now? Yes. Uh, what's happening to the females network? Is it like breaking or not? Okay. Um, not now, T show. And go. We want uh, your updates. That was the submission yesterday. And uh, um, what are your plans for today? Any blockers so far? How can we help? Not now. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, about the challenge, uh, I was facing uh, the, the package. Uh, the tuning to the package is somehow it was difficult. Uh, uh, maybe conflicting with I uh, was working on Ubuntu, but conflicting with internal package, uh, with internal package, uh, Ubuntu uh, package, and uh, that was the hard thing. And uh, understand the data and uh, the concept also it takes a lot of time to understand this is a bit difficult um, so i'm struggling with that and uh, ask uh, friends also on the on the issue that's hard for me and uh, i'm really like this um, I, I think the, the parts that you're struggling with, you should like the specific on them and then just like ask those questions on Rocket Chat and then we, uh, you, you will get a lot of helps even from the trainees as well as the tutors. Okay? okay. You, you need to like ask and then you'll get the help. Okay? Okay. So you'll be here, you have uh, something concrete to submit for the final solution. Okay. Thank you very much, Nathan. Uh, Thank you. Beza Wutale, can you go? Is that Wutala? Okay. Okay. I really want to hear from a lot of females this morning, but okay. Um, Stashi Kibika, can we have your update? Hi. Uh, yeah, I was able to get the data and then uh, get the geodata frame. 
uh, now I'm trying to change that column into a polygon, the, the geometry column into a polygon. And uh, yeah, I'll be trying that if uh, I'm unable to uh, ask on rocket chat. So that's what yeah. I'm focusing on today and standardizing that polygon once I have it. Do, do you think you'll be able to like um, submit the working package before on Saturday? Uh, I I don't think it will be complete. So I think after today I'll be focusing on uh, getting the package to work with uh, whatever I've been able to implement in it. Have you also like work on the visualization part of the challenge? Uh, I've only been able to see a uh, raster image and uh, it's not very like I can't see I can't see what I want to see. So, for example, in your raster image, I can see some some uh, sort of structures, and I can't see it in mine. So, yeah, I'll also be trying to work on that. Okay. Um, you, you, the raster's image will be different based on the bounce that you you know collect. So maybe maybe that counts for something. Also, there are other um, uh, visualization techniques. Probably in Maya, I've used some contours to like visualize some contours in the rasters. Maybe that's why you can see some structures. And then maybe I've not used that, so you can explore that as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Kayat, are you are you back with us now? Is the network good? Can you talk? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes, I'm, I'm back. Right. Um, I guess my network was bad. Yeah. Good morning. Yes. Um. I think yesterday was a lot for me because I I like started the task yesterday very late later on because I was trying to understand what I got help from Michael and I was able to better understand and start working on it. I was able to submit the report, the interim report, and also um, um, worked with the pipeline, but I'm yet to fetch the data. I'm having some tough time um, downloading some packages. I wasn't able to complete that yesterday, but I would continue today fetch the data and then do some visualizations. Okay. Okay. That sounds like a, like a plan. I, I think that um, some of the packages are having issues installing. If you like ask them on Rocket Chat or you go through the chat on Rocket Chat, you probably yeah. see some solutions as to how to install them. Okay. Yes, I saw some solutions, some people that had some similar problems. So it's just that I didn't have enough time to do that or well, i'll do that this morning thank you that looks fine. thank you very much um i'm saying michael can we have your update say michael okay uh, are you referring to me, right? Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, so yesterday submission, I th even though I wasn't able to figure it out on my own, Tuesday, yesterday, I think I had a lot of progress and I think I submitted, I submitted on time, but I don't know if the submission includes all of the parts that it needs to include. I had difficulty in figuring out since we were told to output a dictionary of years, I don't know how to retrieve the different years with Pedal. Like, it wasn't readily apparent in the data that I retrieved what year it was, and there doesn't seem to be any structure that indicates year. And so that has been a bit difficult to figure out and I still haven't figured it out other than that. For now, I've just moved on to the working on the visualizations. 
but I will go back and try to figure out the year thing once I have a better grasp of the data. Okay, that's uh, yeah. Thank you very much for the update. Um, I think it's good that you moved on. I um, I also think that for the for the year part, uh, each 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 of the folders um has their um, respective year. Some have complete complicated years where we have like 2012, 2018 kind of thing. So the 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 um not the idea that I have currently in my head is that um we can just use a string split and then we we'll get the last index of that split and then we we'll would use that to you know, get the data for the year based on the um, region that was passed or the bounds that we are you know collecting that from for the complicated years um i still don't know uh, i still don't, i've not figured out how to like get that one for now but i think for the years that are simpler maybe that just as 2018 or 2017 we can just use a string split and then we we'll use that to like get the year and return the rasters that was uh, specified in the bounds maybe that would help okay yeah i'll consider that yeah okay that, okay direction thank you thank you very much thank you so much abu Bakr, as well as same same for raising a very important this is the kind of what i would like to see in stand-ups right it's like just something that is key foundational and related to the project that could help everyone even if they are not there right so this, these are the ways of thinking. It's defined, you're, you put, and you are there, you probably looked at it and it's not easy. You kind of mention it and other people who either are trying or whatever will, will then try and update. That feels like a thing. So it's really great that you raised, and I think it's like Abu Bakr definitely say, mention something, but then even you can have like a, a non kind of interested call in the middle of today, for example, sometime where people can discuss, brainstorm some ideas. Even if it's not a group work, but some things like that could be enriched, like, you know, if people brainstorm around it. But that's a great example how startups could help, you know, bring everyone into the same page and then kind of like uh, deliver high quality work. So I'm happy to hear that. Oh, okay, thank you very much, Abibo. And um, Jerusalem, are you back with us now? Can you speak? Hello. Good Hi. Morning. Good morning. Oh, sorry. I'm very <laughs> um, well, thank you. I was in the last place. Okay. Yeah, so this week challenge was um, a bit tough for me the whole new idea i know but um, i'm asking people um on resources and how they are working um i i do have this uh, flu uh, and it's kind of a tough to do to to keep up with everything but yeah i'm trying to keep up okay any blockers so far so um um um, uh, I have this um, a storage um, uh, problem on my computer, so I use AWS to access uh, the file. But I'm uh, I'm asking that could we like could we use um, like a, a specific data set so we can uh, we can call it uh, as a batch on AWS? I'm having a problem on that. If anyone know how to do that, just that. just one. One advice there, you could extract some data for an AWS yeah. and then copy it, for example, for the one that is specified, the farm one, which is much easier. And then you can copy that one into your local machine and work. So okay. you can mix and match and use uh, rsync to synchronize your folder uh, in your computer and in AWS as well. So just I think, and also one thing is like, please just make sure that you take care of your health. It doesn't, it, you know, if you need to rest, get rest, because it doesn't help uh, if you are sick and working because it's, it's not good. So, you know, if you have to take a few days rest, rest and, and kind of like, you know, make sure you take care of yourself. And that's it for everyone, because it doesn't help that if you are kind of half working now and half working next week or not finished, it's okay, you know, it's like you can 
like you can just stay crust from this week and continue another one and maybe work on the weekend um, if you get better. So I would say those kind of conditions, if you are sick, it, it, it may not get better, especially cold and stuff. It may not get better if you keep working. And you know yourself, so I'm just more coming from the angle, you know, health comes first. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, um, Mr. Wutalem. So please take care of your health, it's very important. And then whenever you like, okay, you can start, I mean, you can continue to work on the challenge. Okay. So health comes first. All right. Um, so, um, Milky Bekele, can you go? Since you have a lot of questions. So. Milky, are you here? Okay, maybe not. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Michael Techley, can you go next? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Gaur. Okay. Good morning. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, yesterday, I submitted my assignments, but uh, initially, like uh, I mentioned, uh, I have I have faced some challenges in studying uh, PDA, and mm, but now, like uh, I. I solved the problem. Yeah, I had a conflict with my. Uh, I was using Ubuntu and uh, I was having conflict with the system uh, Python and I was installing it using P, uh, PIP. But now, after I installed it using Kondas and creating an environment, it worked for me. Uh, if anyone is facing this challenge, um, hope uh, this helps you out. And uh, today I'm working on uh, visualizing visualizing the data. I, I was able to trace the data like I have already submitted the GitHub. So today I'm working on the visualization. So that's where I'm at that's right now. Okay. okay. Thank you very much for the um, update as well as um, giving us updates regarding any issues. Anybody facing any issues re um, installing any package, you can you know reach out to Michael Techley or you just send a message on rocket chat we'll be happy to help most of the package are complicated to install and then um i think the the generic um solution currently is using the conda so the conda forge thing usually uh works uh we uh pass time now and then i believe there is a, a lot of uh, questions regarding uh the, this particular um, challenge so i'll uh, um, just to recap on the uh, announcement, we have a guest talk scheduled at um, 3 p.m. UTC today, and then we will get more insight as to the challenge that we are working on, as well as answer some of the questions that we might have. Uh, in case we have any other burning questions that we need to like address now, we are going to stay on the call for the next um, 20, 30 minutes, and then address them so that we can all get started and then answer the questions. Everybody is here. I am here. Kevin is here. And then we'll be happy to like answer all of your questions. So in case anybody has any questions, please raise your hand and then we'll continue with that. I'm going to stop the recording for the end of the stand-up and then we'll go into the Q&A um, section. Okay. So anybody has any questions, please raise your hand now. Okay, same. 